me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Okay. Hello, Internet viewers, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force. In our last episode, we took care of a whole bunch of enemies in here and got ourselves a brand new light orb. I also picked up the other items, and I will show what they are here. Anyway. Oh, why'd you walk out of the way? You're back, and you have the Orb of Light. Tell Otrent quickly. Okay. I guess we know what we're supposed to be doing with the Orb of Light. Hi there. Use the orb at the pool behind the secret door below. Um, okay. Didn't you tell me that before? Why did that lady tell me to talk to Otrant again? Whatever. Oh, hey! Automatic doors. Nice. Is that a holographic projector? Either that or something's looking at me and I don't like it. Anyway. How long I have waited for this summons. Bolt, you are a hero without peer. The legacy of the ancients is an evil being that has been sealed away for 1,000 years. Dark Soul now searches for the key to unlock that seal. You must stop him. Okay. Not even going to say goodbye. Hmm. Now what do you say? The spirit of the Pool spoke to you? Go tell Otran all that was said. You're... Just telling me to keep that person updated, aren't you? Okay. Hi. The Orb of Light has chosen you, Bolt, to battle the evil that threatens Rune. You are truly the servants of the powers of light, the Shining Force. Cross the sea from Rindo and go to the Eastern Continent. You must stop Cain. Nice of you to get out of the way. Now all shall know you as the Shining Force. That didn't really stop them in Rindo from making fun of me and such. Well, anyway, there's no item shop here, so in order to sell stuff I have to go back to the other one. So yes, let's head back to Rindo. Come on. I will sell those items real quick, and I'll be right back. Alright. Now well, that's taken care of. Let's see. Eh, come on. Oh, hey! Look! Sorry, the circus people said to let no one in yet. Oh, I don't see the circus. Oh well. Still can't get any boats? The answer is still no. That's the mayor's ship. Go talk to him if you like. Eh, crotchety old man. Fine, I will talk to the mayor. Controller, cooperate. I have a favor to ask of you. Grant it, and the ship is all yours. What do you say? Okay. My grandson is missing. If you find him and bring him back, my ship is yours. So, Bolt, please find my grandson. Uh huh. So simply because your family is on the line here, I'm being blocked in. 
That would be your son, right? Please, help us find our son. Uh -huh. My son is missing. Have you seen him? Okay, are you going to get out of my way or not? Can't stall forever. Holy crap. Good God, finally. Jeez. Anyway. He did say he wanted to see the circus, right? Seems only reasonable. The mayor's grandson? Yes, he went in the tent and never came out. That's strange. You're only now thinking it's strange. I'll let you in to look for him. Be careful, some of those people look dangerous. Uh huh. So, I think we're about to get into another combat situation here. I am gonna buy some items. Hold still. Item management is getting a bit tight with all these required items. Anyway, let's head in and hope for the best. Well, Bolts, remember me? You'll soon wish you'd taken my advice in Alteron. Come, my pets! Look who's come to play with you! Why, it's the Shining Force! I leave you in good hands, Bolt. I have more vital matters to attend right now. Uh, I knew she was a witch. Okay, so we got a whole slew of new monsters here. This is going to be fun. First up, we have ourselves a mannequin. Doesn't look like much, but I believe they can poison you. Not so fun. Then we have these puppets who can cast Freeze, and they love to do so. Got more bats over there. We also have these dire clowns. Sorry to anyone who's, a, who's afraid of clowns. But I'm going to be killing off a couple of them, so consider it revenge. And they are guarding the marionette, who has freeze level 3 and an unknown amount of magic. That means he has more than 99 points of magic. They stop keeping track after a while. And look at that attack! Even if he wasn't using Freeze 3, he still got an attack of 25. This guy is going to be tough to kill. Plus side, he never moves. So you got a couple of boxes here, another box up there. I don't think there are any more boxes. But I'm not going to be grabbing any of those boxes yet. There's nothing that will really help me in this combat, so I'll do that afterwards. start things off. Let's go after this one. Make sure I got the right weapon equipped. And take out this evil puppet. Come on, May. You could have done two attacks and I could have avoided that magic. Oh well. Might as well get into the thick of things. Bolt, you're tanking, as usual. And you're critting. That's handy. You like magic? Have some. You couldn't have done one more point. Yeah. Well, so much for that. Okay. I always find it interesting how much the magics change depending on what angle you're at. If you're the one casting Freeze, it actually doesn't look anything like that. How much did you lose again? Oh, it's not much. It's not enough to matter right now.
Now this combat could last a little while, so I'm probably going to be cutting it halfway through. I think I'll take out the bats and the puppets and leave the main event for last. But just since there's a good chance it's gonna kill me. By the way, sorry for the background noise. I'll try to kill it off as much as I can, but neighbors decided today was a great day for weed whacking. On the plus side, May leveled up. Ooh. And Chris gets to take out the evil puppet. Nice. Eight points, that's good to know. That ring's really doing some work. Okay. Um, what's your move? Five. Yeah, so there's no way I'm going to be avoiding it if I even step in. So let's just stay here for now. Wait for the rest of the group to show up. Those bats don't want to come over yet. Alright. As usual, Bolt is the tank. He has the most health right now. That got their attention. He hit the vertical limit. Hmm, still can't get close enough. But I'm close enough to you. Go to it, Henri. She was doing sevens against the zombies, now she's doing sixes against the puppets. Maybe there's some kind of magic defense. But it's not an actual stat, just some monsters can defend better. Either that or it's the usual variable and I'm just being unlucky, which happens a lot. Though I found it rather interesting that the evil puppet decided to attack instead of using freeze. Yeah, I don't want Henri to die, so... She's still got a lot more magic to use. day, evil puppet. You only got one move. Well, one attack. And you wasted it. Alright, all three bats. Why are they refusing to use their magic? It just, it makes no sense. You could have attacked Bolt. Instead, you're wasting all your attacks. Speaking of Bolt, he's gonna have to be healed after we're done here. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's go with this one that's already been attacked. Just needed to make sure one of them would die. Hey! Magic! Although, at this point, it's kind of cheating, because not my... Not everyone on my team has gotten their move. <laughs> yeah, heal yourself. Because, you know, you've taken quite a few hits. There we go. 13 more points. Ooh! Chris got a level up. Attack, defense, 2. Nice. Speed, 2. Hit points, 1. And magic points, 2. Not bad. You notice those dire clowns moved out of the way? Or rather, moved into the way? They are now defending the mannequin. And that's one less evil puppet in the universe. Yay, Henri levels up. No attack increase. Yay! Now she knows how to freeze things. You'll get to see what I'm talking about. Probably in the next episode, but you'll still get to see. Alright, one more bet and we end the episode. No, I hmm, actually wanted to use magic there. Oh well. I'll heal them up real quick at the end. <laughs> Well, it's not like it matters now. Ooh, yes. Look, one more point of freeze. Same distance, unfortunately. I think it does a little bit more damage as well. Anyway, you remember it looked like a spiral of ice cubes coming at us? All going at the bat. It's more of a tornado. Going downward into him. Rather than expanding outward towards us. I just like that they put that little perspective touch in there. Alright, everybody group up. And wake up. Henry definitely needs healing. Let's just put you here so Chris can be right in the middle. Let's see... Yeah, Henri first, because she's close to death. Anyway... As I heal up these guys, I will be ending the episode here. In the next episode, we will attempt to take out the mannequin. Hopefully we can do this in one try. Because not only does he have the 35 HP that I have to worry about, all that magic I have to worry about, the high attack I have to worry about, and the reach. <sighs> I forgot that. Freeze level 3 can actually go one step farther than any other normal spell. On top of all of that, he can heal. He automatically heals over time. I think that's enough. I'll save those two heals for the next one. So, here's hoping I can actually accomplish this. I'll see you then.